So I'm a huge car guy. I'm obsessed with cars. I love how they sound, how they look, and I absolutely adore speed. About two, three years ago, I got into Blender. From that time, I modeled quite a few cars myself. Some were, well, crappy shit boxes that look like they have been laying in a scrapyard for years. But over time, my skills developed and some of them were pretty good. But from the time that I started using Blender, I always had this problem where I tried making my own stuff. I thought using other people's models were somehow disingenuous and I felt like it wasn't my artwork, rather someone else's. While making your own 3D models is definitely not a bad thing, it also held me back since I couldn't work and improve on other important stuff like lighting, texturing, environmental creation. This is the exact reason why I made this artwork. I wanted to improve my skill, give a breakdown and share how I made it. Ready? Let's go! The first thing I had to do was find out what I want to make. When I was browsing the internet, I came across this image and I thought it would be good practice to make something similar. So I headed right on. In Blender, the first thing that I did was I started modeling the road and I used the transportation add-on to import the car. Then I started texturing the road. I downloaded the asphalt texture from the Megascans library. I replaced the roughness texture with my own by adding a noise texture and combining it with the color ramp. This makes it appear as if the road is wet. Then I worked on the sidewalk near the camera. I basically modeled the things near the camera first since I knew they needed the most amount of work and that the stuff in the back would be barely visible anyway because of the fog. I made sure to add bevels everywhere I could. This made the model a bit more realistic. After the things near the camera were done, it was time to move on to the gas station. I really didn't bother too much on this model, I just used basic texturing and modeling techniques to make it. To add 3D models to the gas station interior, I used an awesome add-on called Blender Kit. It's very useful, since it has a library of free models and textures, and it's really easy to import straight into Blender. Then, after I finished the interior, I made a neon sign for the gas station. I set up the basic lighting and I added fog to the scene. Now it was a matter of tweaking the scene until you are satisfied with the result. This can take a long time so be patient with it. After I was happy with the result, I went to the compositor, changed the contrast to medium high, added glare, blur and lens distortion to make everything look more realistic. Then I opened up Premiere Pro and started color correcting and editing the image. I played around with the basic correction sliders and I added a filter that seemed to fit the best. To make the image look even more realistic, I added an effect called VHS Auto to add film grain to the image. I duplicated the image and I added the Gaussian blur effect and I set it to about 2. This made the image look way better. And that's it, this is how the final image looks like. I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe and share.